Samsung's Galaxy Note 9 is one of the best big smartphones ever released, but the main issue with the device is the simple fact that it's very expensive and it's not that big of an upgrade over the Note 8. Don't get me wrong though, there are some substantial hardware upgrades in this year's Note 9. Including top tier internal storage being bumped up to 512 gigs, coupled with a sizable 8 gigs of RAM, a Snapdragon 845 processor, and a massive 4000 milliamp battery that I actually found pushes battery life legitimately into the all day category. There's also a 128 gig version of the phone that features 6 gigs of RAM as well. Other than this though, the Note 9 is pretty much just a combination of the Note 8 and the S9 Plus, but with a few new clever stylus tricks. This means that unless you're a big fan of the Note line, the Note 9 could be a tough sell for you. But let's get into some of the details. The Note 9's camera is identical to the S9 Plus's stellar front and back shooter in almost every way. With the exception of a new auto scene detecting feature that feels very similar to the AI camera included in LG's G7. While useful, I find that when scene detection is turned on, it gives the images a very highly processed look that some people just might not be that fond of. To be clear, it's not really an issue because you can turn the feature off and it doesn't change the photos that much. Flaw detection, a feature that quickly tells the user if their subject has blinked or if the image is blurry, has also been added to the Note 9's camera this year. While useful, I found the Note 9's flaw detection notifications pretty easy to overlook. As you may have expected, the Note 9 still has all of the same S Pen features fans of the smartphone line have come to expect, including note taking and live messages. If you've enjoyed using the S Pen in the past, you'll still like it just as much with the Note 9. What's new this year is that the S Pen now features Bluetooth low energy connectivity, allowing it to operate from up to 30 feet away from the Note 9. This means that the S Pen can now be used as a wireless camera button, which isn't something I thought I would ever find useful. Under specific circumstances though, perhaps if you want to take a group selfie, this feature could come in handy. Looks wise, the Note 9 is nearly identical to the Note 8 in almost every way. Apart from the fact that the phone's stellar display now measures in at 6.4 inches instead of 6.3 like with the Note 8. This means that Samsung was able to shrink the bezels above and below the display in order to cram even more screen real estate. And all this without a notch. The same curved glass infinity display design Samsung has stuck with for the last few years is back. The main physical difference most people are going to notice about the Note 9 is the fact that the fingerprint sensor has been shifted to sit below the camera, which is a great move on Samsung's part because the Note 8 sensor was really hard to reach. Of course, Samsung's intelligent scan biometric login, which rivals the iPhone's Face ID in terms of reliability and accuracy, is back again. With the Note 9 coming in at hundreds of dollars more than Samsung's Galaxy S9 Plus, a phone that in many ways is nearly identical to the Note, Samsung's latest smartphone is a tough sell depending on how important the S Pen is to you. That said, there are a lot of performance improvements under the hood with the Note 9, so if you're the type of person who cares about hardware, you're gonna find a lot to like about the smartphone. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and be sure to check out our full review of the Note 9 on mobilesyrup.com.